everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stassi. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so excited. Not only am I just excited because this is the season finale. I didn't even think I'd have a season finale, let alone have this many amazing simmers be interviewed, but I wanted to save the best for last. And I have the Miss Elena here, oh but you may know her as Cookie. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Oh my god, Too gosh. sweet. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I just want to say, I, I, we were just having like a really blast conversation for the Oh, last, I know. Like, we can't minutes. stop talking. <laughs> I know. I was saying this is gonna be like a six hour interview. My longest one I have is an hour and 29 minutes. Oh my gosh. I know. And because here's the thing, and a lot of people know this, I don't really cut anything out. This is a conversation and everything stays in. I was Um, listening to yours and I was like, I don't hear the cuts. I don't hear any cuts because when I do like my YouTube, like voiceovers, I usually cut out a lot of um and you know when you're talking to yourself though but when you're having a conversation it just feels more natural yes yeah and that's and that's exactly why I did it because like if Mm -hmm. you know this much sims this much real life (laughs) oh yeah yeah and you know that's all about simstagram just in general though like yes I most of my conversation I was even telling like my husband this and he's like you don't need to reply to all your messages because that's one of the things that I'm like oh you know I have to find my messages. I'm like, they're not about the Sims most of the time. It's just like talking about life. Just, hey, how are you doing? How's your dog? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, so I had the I had the pleasure of interviewing Artie uh, oh, back God. in March. <laughs> He's also a super big fan of yours because he'll text me on Saturday mornings being like, who are you <laughs> interviewing? Who are you? And, I, and I was like, I'm it's Cookie. And she, he's like, oh my God. Oh my God. When is this coming out? I was like the end of July. And he's like, what? I have to wait till then. He's like, you send it to me beforehand. I'm like, you will, you will wait till oh July. But he I'm literally like, texted me this morning and he's like, I heard you're being interviewed. <laughs> and I was like, yes. He's so sweet. I talk to him every day. There's not, me there's too. not been a day that's not gone by since like March. I love, I love him so much. I'm like, Even I think on he's- my break, he would message me through Twitter and be like, Hey, how are things? How are things? I'm like, they're good. Thank you. Like, it just means so much that he would like reach out just to make sure I was okay. <laughs> we need to keep Artie around. Like we need to oh, keep I know. Him. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm like Artie, like you're like the sweetest. He's little a little baby. treasure. Like I can't. he is a little treasure, but like me doing this process, I've met so many amazing simmers. Oh my God. I know. And you know, the, the share things like share 10 of your simmers. I, yeah. I almost never reply to those only because I can't think of a list of just 10. And I yes. get like, I don't want to just share 10 because I'm like, I want to share a, a thousand. Is that <laughs> cool? Like, can I just copy and paste like my, the people I follow? But then that's not even enough because I probably am missing so many people mm-hmm. that are amazing. And I like, let's say I'm looking through some people. I'm like, oh, wow, their account's amazing. Why am I not following them? How, how have I never discovered them? <laughs> This happens so often. I t- I totally know. Or I'll be like, I forget their name, but I know their profile photo. But I'm mm-hmm. like, what's their name? Or they changed their name. And I'm like, oh my God, they changed their name. Is this the right yes. person? And you're like, oh, it is the right person. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I, I totally get you. I used to do, when I first started this, like follow Fridays, like, like, like on yep. religion, but I would do like six follow Fridays, like part one, part two, <laughs> part three. But at this point, I'm just like, you know, I, I, how I, how I just, who I, how I determine who my top, 10 are for the week is who mm-hmm. I've talked to that week. Yeah, that's actually probably the best yeah. way to do it because I just, I just don't want to offend anyone by not including them in the list. I like, I, I would feel so bad if someone's like, why am I not on her list? Like it's nothing personal. <laughs> right? It's just because I usually am like, if I, if I do do a fall Friday or something, it's, it is something like that. Like who have I been talking to a lot or who has been mess or commenting on my posts? Who's yes. been really supporting me? And I mean, that sounds really selfish. <laughs> who's been no. supporting me, but no, who's been really like going yes. out of the way. Like, that's so sweet. Like I want to like give the love back. Like, right. I not give back. I, I, that's how it's like, well, the readers for Rose Chronicles, like yes. I have new readers every day and they'll comment on these. And I, it just, it's just mm-hmm. like, Oh my God. So like, I'll, I'll shout them out on Fridays yeah. and I'll be like, Hey, do you want to be interviewed on my podcast? They're like, what? <laughs> You've interviewed like big simmers. I was like, I don't care. I don't care. Well, mm-hmm. I don't care if you have one follower, a million followers. Oh we yeah. And I think it's being. actually better because then you get more of a perspective. Like, Hey, you're new to Simscrim. Tell me, tell me your perspective. Like you're like, what is it like coming in right now? Cause I came in like, um, 
end of 2019. And it okay. was a different time. Like, I mean, I know like, that wasn't even that long ago, but COVID changed a lot of what Instagram was. Right. I joined in 2021, like pretty mm-hmm. like January 11th. Yeah. And, and, that was- and that's changed from today. Yes. From where I was. It's it's a completely different game. Can you imagine oh, like a year from now? Like it will change even more. It will. And when I took that little like seventh month break where I just like dips at and I was like, I'm just going to be out. I come back and it was so different. I'm like, I felt like I had to relearn everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay. Everyone's posting reels. I, I was posting a couple reels. Yeah. But I, I'm like, everyone's doing stop motion. Do I need to do stop motion? Like, what do I, oh, what? <laughs> I felt like I had to do, but the, I, I'm doing my own thing now. But you know, when you're just like, yep. what are the rules? There are no rules. There are no rules. That's number one. There are sort of unspoken rules. Like you kind of want to follow trends, like subconsciously, you kind of like, okay, but like, why, why does everyone like this post? Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. It's the whole marketing thing, right? Keeps the it trend is. going. It's literally, that's it what is. all it is. At this point, I just do my own thing. I, and oh I don't have time for reels because I really don't have time for reels. Um, it too long. I, I just, I do these podcasts and I make Rose Chronicles and that's all I really have time for because I'm mm-hmm. a, I'm a corporate queen. I work a nine to five job and yeah. now I have another, I started my own, um, marketing but I can't say firm because it's like I have one client, but yeah. I've started my own business to hope moving forward that that's nice. how I will work. So I got my first client this week. Good. Is it social media marketing or is it social media marketing? Or, sweet. I had a social media marketing business. There you go. Oh my God. You're just yes. all trades. Yes. Well, yes. I, um, I had it for like five years I closed it in 2019, but yeah, that's, it's definitely rewarding. Yes. I, yes. I, the only reason why I closed it was because it was just a lot of work. <laughs> Um, you know how it is. I, I, it's, it's a beast. And especially yes. right now, it's just like, cause like Elon Musk bought Twitter this week. Yes, yes. he sure did. I, I don't know what that means. And Twitter's one of those places where I, I dip my toes into, but yeah. I don't really like to get too involved because it's so volatile. Oh my Everyone's gosh. so angry. Like that's yes. where they go to just rant. So, especially in the Sims community, I was like, oh my yes. God. And even Sims TikTok's the same way. It's yes. not the same community it's not the same welcome vibe. feel. No. Like, I love Instagram. Even, ooh, they, it's funny because like, this is like not Sims related, but still video game related. I yeah, love yeah. this game, uh, Beat Saber on VR. So I would go to their Reddit. Like I love sub, I went to their subreddit and yeah. I would never post on their subreddit because everyone's so mean to each other. I don't get it. I'm like, why can't more people just be like the Instagram Sims community right. where they're like, someone could post literally a square house that has the worst siding, maybe mm-hmm. like the ugliest roof. And they'll be like, this is my first build. What do you think? And people be like, you know what? That's your first build. You got this, you know, keep doing it. We love you. Yeah. This is so great for your first all your <laughs> yes. Thank you. I thought I just love how like it's just keeping it positive, even though yes. they're being real. Like if no one's like, this is the best build I've ever seen, they're yeah. not gonna be like lying to you, but they're gonna be like, Yeah, keep building. Like, and someone might be like, I'm feeling down today, but like, no, girl, you got this. Yes, <laughs> I swear to God. So I so I, I'm a social media manager, I've been doing it now mm-hmm. for a long time, but I have yeah. completely turned off my personal socials. I don't use them. Yeah. Um, I yeah. only have them for work purposes. Mm-hmm. Um I was the same way when I did it. I was like, I'm already doing enough of this. Yep. Yeah. I can't, I can't handle seeing people's anti-vax notifications for us. It was the convoy, um, yeah. like pro convoy, uh, mm-hmm. anti-abortion and just all this mm-hmm. stuff. And I'm just like, this is my family and friends. I it's yeah. such a toxic place. Um, so yeah. I, when I told my fiance, I was doing this, I was like, you should do the same, but maybe not with Sims, but soccer yeah. or something that you, something really that love. you like. Right. And so he's like, okay. And he, now he does. And he's the same way as me. He's like, oh, nice. I don't, he, cause like people message us all the time asking if we're still together because we haven't posted oh. a photo of each other for over a year. And they're like, oh, they must be separated. I'm like, actually, no, we're the best we've ever been. No. I, I feel like I love Byron so much. We get along. I yes. we never post photos. I, I occasionally will pop on, post a photo of like coconut 
<laughs> I'll be like, she's so cute. And I'll post a cute picture. And then I'll, I'll also like, cause I have so much family around. So yeah. I'll, I'll post like doing well, or if something good happens, but I, I just like being on my Sims one personally. I just, yes. I just like focusing on that. Cause it makes me happier. And it's actually stuff I want to share. Like I feel weird posting selfies. Like I do take them sometimes if my makeup, I love doing makeup. So it's, it's a hobby of mine. So I like to take like selfies, but I'm like, I I don't want people thinking I'm just posting this. Cause I'm like, look how good I look. Like, <laughs> no, I, it's like an art thing too. Yes. I mean, yes, I do feel good about myself when it looks good, but I just don't really want that kind of attention. I'd rather someone be like that build looks great. Cause I put literally hours to do it. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel so good when someone says like compliments me on something that I put really all my heart and soul into. So yeah. Elena, That's I got you. Cute. Yeah. I, I got to start with the first question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't first realize one. I was shooting the shit for like 15 minutes. I just looked down. I was like, oh my God. I even asked the first Six question. hours later. You know, I really don't have anything until uh, like a friend's birthday party till eight o'clock today. So we've got some time. <laughs> Yes, I got I got a date with my TV. We got a hot date this evening because my fiance's at a bachelor party. I got a pizza uh, oh that uh, that I'm gonna ha- have for dinner, and then I'm gonna watch some Riverdale and then a cozy blanket and relax. Ooh, right I'm up with Riverdale one of these days. Sorry, I've got to catch up with Riverdale. No, no you don't. It's, the thing it's is, awful. it got so off the handles that I was like, "Am I hearing this correct? What is going on? Who? What are they Where drinking?" Is- <laughs> where did you, where did you end it? I'm just curious. Like, where was the last thing? Busy, remember- busy fuzzle pops. And, <laughs> like, oh fucking, my God. Uh, <laughs> jingle, what? jangle, jingle, jangle in the board game that was making people drink stuff and die. Like what? Oh, okay. So Cheryl's now a witch. Of course she is. Yeah. She can now blow things up with her mind. You've got to be kidding me. No. And Archie's in- invincible <laughs> you can like you could beat the shit out of him jail that one time it would beat people up for money right and he got attacked by a bear and lived i did see that part yes. and i was like i can't even remember how that ended up happening yeah so he went to war he's a teacher and he's a miner and he owns fred's construction <laughs> but and Veronica just owns a casino now. That's of course, it. because she also was a, a high schooler that had an underground <laughs> ca- casino rum business. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, these are high schoolers. You know what I was doing in high school? I had a job at American Eagle and I was like, this is pretty intense for me. <laughs> I'm like, these people, I don't even, how, okay, I'm sorry, but who were the writers? I, it's, it's awful. They're taking um, too much jingle jangle. Let they're me for you. sure taking way too much. And they got, cause now they got the ghoulies back. So it's oh, the, God. the ghoulies versus the serpents. And now the new big bad is Percival Pickens. <laughs> and he's what? a, and he's a warlock. Of course he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if you, if you want to like watch some insanity, read anything about happened with River Vale. Not River Dale, Vale, River Vale. So it was a five part okay. mini series where okay. they took place in River Vale instead of River Dale. And uh-huh. it was, it was like if Supernatural threw up on a teen show. Oh my God. So I, there, like, like the devil was there. Tony sold her soul to a witch. Uh, they kill Archie in a midsummer dream fashion. <laughs> Betty was pregnant, but then wasn't because the, the devil ate her child. And then, and then there's actual, there's a bomb that blows up, but was Riverdale. That's why they switched to Rivervale because oh it's an, a multi-universe that's actually attached together. So yeah, Jughead. Wait, this is like a, not a joke though. No, this is legit. <laughs> is there singing? Now that's a question. There has only been maybe one or two singing episodes this season so far. But the fir- Rivervale had singing in every episode. I would say the last it. episode. Yeah, I know. The singing gets me. But anyways, I'm like, I've watched every episode. I figured it out. I am like two years of university time into this. I need to see how this thing finishes. But don't worry. I get you. There's, I get a, seventh, you. there's a seventh season on its way. Why? <laughs> Why are they doing this? Because they can. Because like the show will never get canceled. I basically. like, at this point, you could tell me aliens come down, take over the world. But then Archie, like 
becomes the leader of the aliens, I'd be like, that's that would happen. And that saves would them happen. with his abs. Just yeah, save a shirtless. With- <laughs> yeah. <I don't- laughs> yeah. I, I would believe you. I I don't know at this point. Anything goes. Anything goes in the Riverdale universe. Anyways, uh, first question. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Sims history and where it all started? Okay. Now here's a question. Do you want me to tell you the long story or the short story for that? Oh, we got time. Okay. <laughs> so uh, in the eighties, <laughs> <laughs> the moment I was born. <laughs> so, okay. My dad grew up on a, a farm, a pig farm. and. Then when the computer comes out, this does tie in, I promise. He was obsessed, okay? And so my um, my dad got a computer and then ended up deciding to go to school for like computers and information technology, whatever. And then not just that, but he was obsessed with computer games. So when my brother was born, he was born first. And then me, my brother would play Starcraft, Doom, Diablo, like the, mm. the loot, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had Mickey something. I had this one Wiggles bookworm, Mm -hmm. like random game. It just wasn't fun. And we also just had like a ton of computers around our house at all times. Like in the 90s, that's not very common, but my dad would, he liked to build computers. He liked to like Hmm. take them apart. It was part of his job. Um, Hmm. And no, I wasn't like, like super wealthy. It was just like, he would find like, old computer parts. This is like Windows 95. That's what I'm talking about. Like, so we all kind of had like, um, imagine like an unfinished basement with like monitors, like old white monitors and like just computer parts ripped open. So that's what my basement was like. So I did kind of get my own computer, but it was like a shitty, I would just do it for paint and like Mickey. Um, so then my dad was always on like the search for a game for me to play, a game for me to like, because he wanted me to play games too. Like he Mm -hmm. even before like Wi-Fi, I think he would play, I can't remember if it was Starcraft or Diablo with our next door neighbor. So you take the long extension cord and (laughs) you would go, it was across the street too. And we lived in like a, like a neighborhood. So it wasn't like busy streets, but he would take the extension cord and they would connect the computers so they could play their video games together. They were young parents. So it was like, my dad wasn't like old, but he was like probably a little younger than what I am now. <laughs> but I, like, so he was like computer nerd, hardcore. So when the Sims came out, he found out before it even like mm-hmm. was launched. And he's like, he didn't tell me about it until he came home with it one day and surprised me. And he's like, Elena. Let me show you a game. It's like dolls, but on the computer. Like he wanted me to be a computer girl. Like he's like, yeah. let me show you. So we played with the Bob Newby family and I was like, this is it. Like, this is it. Like I can't even describe to you because I was obsessed with like dolls and Barbies. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, this is better because you can make them dance, eat, you can make them die. But that sounds bad, but like. But you can. It's you literally, can. A, it's a simulation of life. Yes. yes. And I, my dad got me the strategy guide. I was like seven when it came <gasps> out. Um, can, we, can we just take a hot minute? We'll come back. But strategy guides. Yes. Oh my God. I miss those. I love strategy guides. I love strategy. I'm the, I wasn't even a big like um, Sims YouTube watcher. Yeah. For the longest time. Even when I started getting into like doing my own stuff. Carl's guide was like my thing. I would be like, got to go to Carl's guide after a game came out to understand how the game is run. Like, I don't care about, that sounds bad, but like, I didn't really want to watch a peppy YouTuber talk about how like cute the outfits were. I wanted to Mm -hmm. read Carl's guide on like how the cocktail, what cocktails come in the games, like what, like things you can do, how to play, like I wanted to strategically. Play. Yeah, you didn't want to hear EA game change. You'd be like, oh my God, guys, this is like the best game yeah. ever. Tell me the facts. I literally want to know the facts and I want to make my own opinion. Yes. That's kind of how I am. Anyways, back back to yes. Yes, back to the guide. Mm-hmm. I um got the guide. And then ever since then, 
I would get the, I, I feel kind of spoiled when it comes to that. I would get the latest expansion pack. Like I hear a lot of other people's stories where they had to like secretly discover the sim, not secretly, but like, they'd be like, I discovered it at a friend's house. Like they, they came upon it. Like it was some sort of like treasure in a tomb when someone literally came and gave it to me. Like, I feel so lucky that I was presented this, like, I don't even know what I want to call it, but the Sims for me is literally a part of my being. I was such an introverted, weird kid that like the Sims had become part of my personality. Like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Then like I did meet friends who also started playing the Sims and mm-hmm. we play the Sims together. I remember I even pre-ordered a couple of the packs, especially Make and Magic. Ooh, oh, yeah. peak yeah. Sims one, like, oh. Yeah. I I still like um I play it every so often still on my desktop and um yeah and making magic is I still make sure I jump through that little freaking hole <laughs> and I go I and I know how to duel to get the magic coins and because there's actually like a combination. Yep. Sorry, I'm going down a rabbit. No, I'm going down this hole. You're literally my hero. You need to keep going. <laughs> I part of me wants to like make YouTube videos about like things that I know from the Sims one, just because, or not just one, because Sims one is hard. Yes. It's not easy. Everything caught fire. It did. Time. Everything caught fire. Um, have you ever gotten dragon in Sims one? Wait, I'm sorry. What? You can get a dragon from the vampire, Vicky Vampress. And if you get a vampire, or if you get an egg, it costs a lot, by the way. So I imagine me little kid, obsessed with dragons at this time, by the way, I had a collection of like ceramic dragons in my bedroom, like obsessed completely. And so when I found out there were going to be dragons in this game, I was like, hell yeah. I finally got enough magic coins from dueling to get a dragon egg. I coddle it. I cradle it. Cause every time it cries, whatever it hatches, burns down my entire house, kills my sin. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how, and she was like pretty high up there in magic. Like you have to unlock spells. It is, it is 10 times easier to be a spellcaster in Sims 4 than Mm -hmm. it is to do magic in Sims 1. I was devastated. I'm like, I, I loved you. I raised you since you were a little egg and you did this to me. (laughs) Yeah, it pretty much is. I don't know how you... Can you even like raise a, a dragon without it catching your house on fire? I don't know. That's I don't. I, I feel like that's a, probably like the number one concern. If you were to raise a dragon, your house would probably catch on fire. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And so that that was a pretty traumatic moment from my childhood. <sighs> I can't talk about it. I even found my old camcorder um, from like my parents gave me like this old camcorder that my brother and I were allowed to like beat up and like. Record things. And I made a tutorial uh, about how to kill a puppy. <laughs> and it seems one. I was watching it and I'm, I'm like, my friend Alora's holding it and I'm like, all right, we're going to make, we're going to put the room, we're going to make the room around the puppy. This is how we kill a puppy. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm oh my God. <laughs> I'm a little elementary kid being like, <laughs> and there's like tombstones all in the back. <laughs> Like I've obviously been at it for a while. <laughs> like I, I would maybe not would not age well. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> Especially, yeah, could you imagine if you were like, guys, this is what I did when I was twelve, and you just, yeah. you release it, and you do like at the end, you just like zoom to your doggo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'd think I'd be like, this is me raising my family, making a perfect house. Like, no, I was doing some pretty crazy stuff. I mean, well, I mean, there could be crazier things, but (laughs) yes. Anyways, the love for Sims 1, the Sims, I can't, I don't even want to say Sims 1 because I say it all the time. I'm like, no, it's the Sims. It's the Sims. Yeah. It's the the Sims. It's it's, the, yeah. yeah. But Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. Talk to me about those. When Sims 2... <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, holy shit, did I just trick a nerve? 
Oh boy. So when I heard, heard, hadn't come out yet, but when I heard I was in fifth grade, uh, my two best friends and I were kind of obsessed with playing the Sims at the time. So we made a song up about uh, Sims 2. Um, yeah. And I would watch the trailer so regularly that I rewatched it again recently. And I'm like, I remember this so well. <laughs> Like there's like this baby that blows fire out of its mouth. And I thought the babies could do that because I saw it on the trailer, but you know how things are in trailers. Yes. Uh, so I counted down the days I would go to like Sims 2 website. And I remember when I first got it, I made the first family I made was like my own family, like me yeah. and my brother. I don't usually make myself, but I did. And they like everyone died because I wasn't used to like feeding them that way because the transition is always weird when you go from like one Sim generation to the mm -hmm. next. Cause like you, you had to play it different. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was Sims 2 uh, puberty. That's all I got to say. I had friends that came over and I would be like, this is the Sims. Like I, if any friends come over, cause I had my own computer and I, I don't know why, but it's like, I kind of feel bad for any friends that I did have because I'd be like, Hey, you want to come over? Um, you're going to have to play the Sims if you come to my house. And, but I did get some of my friends, they would make their crushes and like, you know, live with that. I'm, you know, I would do that, but I would, I would never show anyone. And so the Sims 2.com was like before MySpace yep. for me. Um, they had, you could publish stories on there. Um, you could download like custom content sort of. Uh, it was more like, I don't know if it was like user custom content, but I would publish my own poems. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. I would publish poems on Sims 2.com. And they were all like angsty, like teenage, like not even teenager, like preteen about like the boys that I like that didn't see me. Like a Taylor Swift. Song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And you could, you take pictures, you take screenshots and then you, you type in the words and then you can post that as like stories. So some people had like full on like series. There's like full on series on sims 2com I would go every single day to sims 2com it was an obsession for me. <laughs> I'm like, gotta go to Sims 2. I, I swear I had a life sort of. Okay. But <laughs> hey, I wouldn't even judge my weekends. This sounds really sad when I say it, but it's not. I would judge my weekend how good it was by how many hours of the Sims I could get in. Yes, I, know. I love that. <laughs> and I remember I was waiting by this, one of my neighbors at the bus stop, um, waiting for school. And she was like, so how was your weekend? I was like, it was great. I got to play the Sims all day. I stayed up all night. I even made notebooks. Like I make notes still. Yeah. But I had notebooks, Sims two notebooks. And I was going through my, my dad's house, cleaning it out. Um, a couple of years ago. And I found like my Sims two notes, which was just hilarious <laughs> to find. Like doesn't change. I don't change. Um, <laughs> no, nope. I never, I knew I was never going to outgrow it. Like yeah, I yeah. accepted that Sims 3 comes along and um, I got it like the day it came out. And you know how my dad is the computer guy? Yes. He was like, so he, he built me a gaming computer for this. He, he installs it and he was like, it's not working. He's like, so he fiddles with it. He's like, he was actually getting mad. He's like, if I can't figure this out, he's like, the Sims are going to have a big issue with this. He's like, there are going to be so many people that are going to be so confused. And I think about that this, to this day, because that's the biggest issue people have with Sims 3, because mm -hmm. it didn't run well. And my dad even was like getting frustrated. <laughs> and that's what he does. Like, yeah, he does computers and he plays computer games, but this is the one he had the biggest issue with was the sims 3 that i remember like going to school and i could not wait to come home i would play it late into the night um not get enough sleep for school i don't care <laughs> sims 3 was yeah and um i even played it when i was in the caribbean i had it on my laptop uh and sims 3 island paradise came out and I got to play it down there. Loved it. <sighs> Sims 4 was the only one that I didn't, I didn't get on release day. Really? I waited till the first expansion pack. 
Uh, yeah, because that was uh, Get to Work. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why was because I love Sims 3 so much. Yeah. It just had so much. Like each pack had, I would consider a Sims 3 pack equivalent to a Sims 4 expansion pack, game pack, and a stuff pack all in one. They had so much stuff. Yes. It, it feels like the Sims 4 is just like watered down. There's no customization in Sims 4. And that's what I love. Sims 3, everything was customized. My house, wallpaper, mm-hmm. a fridge, everything. I would customize hair, clothes, like, and I play all the scenarios you could possibly think of. Like, I liked being able to play, like, mm-hmm. um, your Sims could have invisible friends. I would make the potion, turn the invisible friend real. Then they would grow up, marry each other, have unicorns. Oh my I have God. to go find that. Yeah, you can find a unicorn. You have to go follow the rainbow at night. And it's usually only at a certain time you have to make friends with it. And then you can make it live with you. It's amazing. You can't have a unicorn. But The Sims 4, I'm like, where's the magic? Where's the magic? Yes, there isn't any. That's the secret. There's no magic. (sighs) Yeah. Would you say, like, would you say there's magic now? I would say there's a lot. Yeah, they're getting there. And I know (laughs) it's so funny because like I play Sims 4 so much now. I go back sometimes and I play three and two and one, Mm -hmm. but I've grown to like Sims 4 more. It's it's hard because you have to get packs to get the magic. You can't really get it with base game. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone that just has base game. I, the, yeah, like you have to have mods. Mm-hmm. You get good. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Just, I mean, console players. At least with the Sims 3, you could customize everything. Right. This thing. Um, no, I totally agree with you. Like, um, so like I, I was, I, I was presented the Sims with by my best friend. Cause she, at the mm-hmm. time she, her dad was in it, had a computer and in her room and played the Sims. That's all we did. Yep. Um, I played Sims one till my little heart couldn't stand, but I was again, the mm-hmm. angsty blonde being like, how come Colin doesn't love me? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, Sims two, um, my dad had a computer and my computer couldn't handle it. And I went, so I'm from Canada, but we drove to uh, Troy, Michigan to the Target so I could get the Target exclusive Sims 2 when it first came out. Mm-hmm. And um, my computer can play for six months. I had to wait until we could get a new computer. So I did that. Mm-hmm. I played the Sims 2. I didn't really play the Sims 3 a mm-hmm. lot. And I think the problem is, is I confused Sims three was sims four that i was i thought i was playing oh. sims four but not but i wasn't and the only reason how i kind of figured it out um because i made my fiance uh-huh. in the sims which i thought was four at the time but it was yeah. three because i could put body hair on him and the sims four doesn't have body hair unless it's cc as i said i I'm think sorry. i lost you that's okay no, it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was like, cause um, I was like, okay, so shit, this is Sims, this is Sims three. I That's would, so I, I want to go back and play Sims three. I just, I, honestly, at this point, my computer is held on with a wish and a promise. I'm on a, I'm on a mom answering email laptop. Yeah. So even this one, I yeah. got, it runs Sims four. So smooth. I, I got it for the Sims four, this computer. Yeah. It, it still can't run Sims 3 on um, the highest, like, it still lags. I have to put it on um, low quality to play Sims 3, which is insane. I'm like, this is an old game. This is, yes. Uh, and it makes it hard for me because when I do want to go back and play some Sims 3, because there's a lot of stuff I still really miss about that, that they don't offer it all in Sims 4. I almost get annoyed by like the lag and Mm -hmm. stuff like that and stuff that I could like when it was the latest game I could get over I'm like well like I really like it but I'm like well between Sims 4 and Sims 3 I'm gonna play Sims 4 because it's just I don't know it's easier now because I'm more familiar with how it runs and it's just smoother no it well that's that's exactly it um I'm sure you saw that EA is dropping the the uh, Sims 4 base game price down to, I think it's 20 USD 
whatever that the equivalent will that be across yeah. the world. I think that's like five years overdue oh, in my personal life. They were treating that game like because mm-hmm. like in like in Canada it was 78.99 like last week. That's so expensive. That's, that's the same price of me buying a switch, like a brand new switch game versus a game that came out like six, seven years ago. That's, that's a lot of money. I think it's definitely overdue. Now, the problem is, is they're lowering the base game price, but like the expansion prices are all going up a little, little bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Know. Oh, gosh. So I, the only reason how I noticed I used to do giveaways for yeah. the stuff packs like all the time. Like I, I used to do like one once a month and I'm like, I don't have money to do that. So, um, but they used to be when I first started giving them out, it was 12 bucks with tax yeah. and now it's 15 with tax. So that's like, they put it up, a, they put it up really just a little thing. bit. Yeah. Cause like, so in Canada, so expansion packs are now 60, um, game packs are 30 stuffs are 15 and kits are eight. That's crazy. I know. That's why I don't buy It's why I shit on kits all the time. I'm like, this is an $8 kit. This is literally, this yeah. is a very expensive get. Like, it is. It's it for what you get, right? I, yeah. And that was, oh, cool. yeah. especially the first two or three kits that had like six things. Now the kits have a little bit more in them, which is a little fine. Yeah. Um, But it's just annoying. It's just, I, know. I think, EA, what can I say? I know. Um, I just, <sighs> I keep just having high hopes for Sims 5. Well, that was, that was actually what I was going to talk to you. I was going to talk to you about <laughs> Sims 5. So we know that Sims 5 is currently being worked on. Um, what are your expectations for Sims 5? And are you going to buy it day one or are you going to wait? I'm going to buy it day one for sure. Probably pre-order it. Uh, I really, really hope that it takes some of the best little bits of everything. And then also really listening to what people are saying. Because I personally... I am not like a huge family player, like a generations player. I mean, I do play generations, but most of my Sims are occult Sims. Yeah. I really enjoy that. Um, I hope that the building style is really good and really customizable. Um, I hope it runs really well. I hope they do have, I know open world's gonna be too hard, but at least something that uh, even if it's like, you know how like Willow Creek Every mm-hmm. neighborhood has like little sections, maybe yes. having just that one section open, just so it feels like a little bit more, I can roam around with my Sims, like having to, let's say I'm next to a bowling alley in my house. It'd be really nice to just be able to walk over to that bowling alley when I can see it yes. right there. Um, I totally agree. Instead of having yeah. the blue loading screen twice. Exactly. Like, but I don't mind if I'm going to another neighborhood, if it's a loading screen, cause I kind of like that. Like it's a uh, it you know, minute to like, well, yeah. And it would be kind of cool too if they added some sort of like harder way to travel. Cause I really liked um how Sims 3 in World Adventures, you could go to like a France kind of situation, Egypt and uh China. And I really liked how you had to, it was like going to Granite Falls or um the place that comes with jungle adventure, but yeah, yeah. you would have to make an allotted time for your vacation. You uh, go to your vacation. You could even own a vacation home. I like how that worked. It just yeah. felt like I'm going on a vacation and I'm here within this. But when I'm in Granite Falls, I feel like I could just leave Granite Falls anytime and like go over to Willow Creek and go party. And then yeah, go back. It just doesn't really take me in that illusion that I want my Sims to be like on vacation. Oh my gosh. I, I totally agree. Honest to God. I forget what those vacation worlds just cause like I haven't done like actual just game play yeah. in years, like literal years. I now just use worlds for sets. Um, yeah. I was like, I'm like, Oh yeah, I have these like other words. I'm like, I never use these. Probably never will use these. I just bought the stuff for the build by items. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So like, it's just, ugh, it's crazy. Um, and something that you said, you touched on earlier, like you play with mods, you play with CC. I do the same. I started the Sims journey with like, I'm going to be a vanilla Sim. I'm a Simmer. I'm not going to play with anything. Yeah. Uh, now I'm like, it's all I live for is CC. Um, I think that says speaks volumes that like we need additional content to make this yeah. game feel special. I feel like 
I hope in Sims 5 that they'll actually have CC creators in the room where it happens and we'll have mm-hmm. more of their stuff in. But what I'm concerned of is EA will take credit for what they do and then it will be lost. Yeah. And that's what I'm the most concerned of. But um, I think I would wait for mm-hmm. the first little bit um, until Sims 5, like the bugs were fixed. Oh God, there's going to be bugs. I kind of, I'm kind of interested to be a part of the bugs. Like- I want to see them. I I want to be like experience all the nasty. Cause remember when Sims 4 first came out, I've only seen screenshots of what the neighborhoods look like. And I missed out on all that because I waited for the first expansion. I want to see all like the nitty gritty shitty shit stuff, you know? I didn't get Sims 4 until 2019. Was, oh wow! I had wa- I was watching Kelsey and Peachy K's hundred baby challenge, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's The Sims!" I forgot that I love this. I'm gonna I yes. I bought it when it was for five bucks. I I've only ever played Sims Four with it pretty. I've never played before it wow. not being pretty. And even like toddlers, you had toddlers right away. Yeah. Oh yeah, my god! I, I didn't oh, again. I didn't know off. stuff. <laughs> that pissed me off. Okay, we have different opinions about toddlers because if I could have a, if I could skip that phase, I totally would because I don't like toddlers. I, sorry, I no, sorry. I get it. The toddlers really, really annoy me in gameplay. But I'm yeah. like, hey, if Sims Two had it, why doesn't Sims Four have it? I, that was my like thought. I was like, it just made me feel so late. Like, are they being that lazy that they just skipped? Oh, your baby, your infant baby turns into an equivalent to like a nine-year-old mm-hmm. overnight. That just annoyed me. And I'm someone that I play so often that I like a challenge because it has become almost boring if there isn't a challenge. Like I don't play with cheats because I find it very boring if my sins are rich. Like that's when I start losing interest if they have a ton of money. I usually like yeah. have a small house and I like to build a career, but I... I like a bit of a challenge. So sometimes when, oh God, when I have a triplets or something, I'm like, God help me. <laughs> like, this is, I'm like, I could never take care of a real baby. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> oh my God. I, hey, I got you, but I'm happy that, I, again, I don't use them. They're cute for photos. Toddlers. They're, they're cute for photos. I'm glad they exist. And you can also age them up immediately if you want. Yes. Now what I hope for one day, instead of being adult and then you're dying, like I, I would like to have yes. like something in the middle there. Yeah, That'd like be really great. Cause they have young adult, then they have adult. I'm sorry. I have so many trains. That's okay. <laughs> and then I, and then I'd go like an older adult yes, and then I'd like, go elder. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't think you should go from 30 to 90. Exactly. There's that middle age because the, yes. young, the adult, I feel like I'm personally approaching my adult years. Yes. I, I'm me as well. Yeah. I don't feel like my next stage is old. (laughs) I want to be able to have like the silver gray running through my hair, but still be able to do yoga poses and like not almost die when I'm working out. Cause your Sims will literally, I, that is one of my favorite ways to kill my old Sims when I'm done. That sounds so mean, but like, I want to be able to have like a good, a good life cycle. (laughs) Uh, the best way to get rid of an old sim is have them work out and then woohoo, they die instantly. If you're, if you're bored of a sim, that's old. <laughs> have them work out, they'll be tired and then have them woohoo, they die instantly. Oh my God. I have learned so much on this call. You have no idea. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh- <laughs> that's how I do. <laughs> I have a lot of like sims who are, who are um, like black widows. I play that sometimes. So they'll, they'll do it for money. They'll marry like an old man. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not so bad. My play style is chaotic. What is your, I don't share it on social anyway. What is your favorite challenge then? Because there's so many, there's like the, like the legacy challenges. There's not so buried. There's a hundred, hundred baby challenge. I'm, I know there's more. I know there's lots of them. But which so, one's your favorite? I think out of like a traditional challenge, my favorite would be like rags to riches. Rags to riches. Yep. I make up my own though, usually, like I usually go start a game and I have a whole plot in my head about how I want it to be. And then I kind of have my own rules to that said challenge. But like, if I were to go to traditional challenge, definitely rags to riches for sure. Okay. If you're going to, if you're going to do one completely all you, what are you doing? 
Okay. So, well, right now I have these twin sisters. Um, their challenge kind of is they both want to find love, but one is a hardcore party girl who wants to kind of love as many. One is a unflirty, really smart girl. Yeah. And she, but she wants to find love too, but she's so shy. The party girl goes out all the time. And then I also have mods. So she does has a lot of drugs um, <laughs> and the other girl's a nurse, but there's, she's so busy with her schedule. So I'm trying to figure out how can I make them both find love? They both live together um, and make them ultimately two people good for them, but they're best friends too, which I, I think is like the most fun part about it. Even though this isn't like a full on challenge, like, but it's still yeah, yeah. my own like little scenario of, yeah. So this is obviously, you could, you could honestly pitch that also idea to Netflix to make it like the Valentine's Day rom-com. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'm like, this is a rom-com. I've been having so much fun with it too. <laughs> but that's the whole point is to have fun with this. That's literally it. It's literally to blow off steam and be your world. Something that scares me is there's talks becoming a multiplayer game. I would do everything in my power to never have that on. Sims to me is my experience. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't want to play with other people's Sims. No No offense to anybody listening. No, I'm the same way. Like, I, I enjoy Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. And it's so funny when people go, can I come to your place? And I'm like... Can you not? <laughs> I, I get like, I do understand the social aspect of it. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, come over. You can check it out. But like, when are you going to leave? <laughs> like, I just don't. I, yes. my, exactly. I, my Sims is my world. Like I don't share on my, my purse or my social media. I don't share my personal stuff because I'm like, for one, I don't think anyone's interested. And two, it's my game. Like I do whatever I want. I have this one that's called vampire queen Mm -hmm. and it's, she wants to take over the world and eat everyone. But then there's this, this spell caster who's trying to take her down, but they end up falling in love. So it's a whole thing. I like having that. And if someone were to come on in, and mess with that scenario, I'd be pissed. <laughs> yes. like, yeah, like yes. don't touch my stuff. <laughs> like I, I could I couldn't even imagine. I'm sitting making a Rose Chronicles chapter. I'm fucking frustrated. It's been like yeah. seven hours. And someone's like, hey Jack. I'd be like, oh, oh my God. Especially with like Rose Chronicles, you can't have someone just coming in. No, I can't. I'll be like, I would be no, I'm like. You're not part of this. This is like a rarely romantic scene. What the hell are you doing? I, I do everything in my power to avoid like any yeah. like other Sims that's not people who are in the story. I was mm-hmm. saying to, who was it last week? I was talking to somebody and I was like, I don't, okay, this is gonna sound really bad. I've never actually really played with any of the pre-made Sims. Oh, I don't play, I don't like playing with pre-made Sims no, either. I have always- I like pre- my own. I've always made my own, right? Yes. Yeah, so I was just sitting there and I'm like, so Alexa and Oliver were just like chilling because I was just waiting to do something and they were in mm-hmm. the middle of it because I usually like put them on like private lots so like yeah. no one will bother them. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't have to like dismiss the welcome wagon every like 30 minutes after I move from set to set. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was the fighting thing, the fighting initiative. So they just started beating the shit out of each other. And then like, it changed her outfit. I was like, God, I, I went and grabbed a water, a water. And Alexa's angry. I'm like, Sims are so, I know that like, that's parts. I'm like, can I turn that off? Can I I have a non or autonomy off? Yes. Yes. Because unless if I'm I specifically go into a game where I'm like I want a little chaos and I want them to lead the way like I'll put it on but yeah on me off I do not I want to control the narrative 100 like yes. I I have this thing play out and I want to see it play out <laughs> I want to see the drama I have in my head yes I want to I want to I want to take the vision in here I don't care if you want no because they're they're like why are you going over there (laughs) i know they're like saucy you're so cruel you're you're just like you're like they're you're treating them as like like robots i'm like they are my little robots but yeah they they are i they are they are i I don't i don't i can't let them age god forbid you also treat them them well yes you treat them well i take care of them Mm -hmm. and it's really sad anytime i have to kill anybody off we say a prayer for them because as if any of my main care well I've said this multiple times, so I'm not as like cool to it anymore because when I first started Rose Chronicles, Alexa died 10 times. 
What? Yeah, she uh, she died of embarrassment. She died because I she, they'd, be okay. in their, they'd be in their school uniforms. So it, yeah. in the middle of summer, so they would overheat and die. She yep. drowned multiple times. She'd catch oh. fire. I literally, I remove every oven. They don't cook. They, yeah, you're like, you're not cooking. You're no. eating salads for now on. Um, Yeah, so like pool, just like literally blocking all that off. She's drowned. Oh my gosh. She, like, I would sit there and be like, oh, she died again. <laughs> and no. the first time I was like, I didn't know what to do because it was like the second chapter. She couldn't die. I literally no. slammed my laptop lid down and I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> and I came back. I was like, oh my gosh, she's alive again. Now I have backups to the backups to the but backups. Good. So God forbid if someone was to die. You but have enough. <laughs> my library is just is. saved with like the Sims that I really like yeah. because I'm like, I'm not losing you for some dumb reason. Nope. <laughs> I, I, I have my tray files because now I know what a tray file is. Yes. I have it on an external hard drive. Oh, so I need like, to do that. I need yeah. to back up. No, I, no, no, I took that off. I going to die. <laughs> I, yes, that's literally my fear because it happened to me because I had a Mac at the beginning of the pandemic, but it died and I had, I couldn't afford a $3,000 computer. I oh, mean, no. who can? So I just bought this PC, but I had lost everything. Mm. Oh I had working God. on it in The Sims because I didn't really upload anything to the galleries. I was like, yeah. no, 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 no. We, uh, we use my computer now. So, yes. I, and that, Cause, and then when I worked for the Sims Set magazine for a hot minute, they're like, yeah, Stas, can you send me your tray files? And I was like, what do you mean the what? files? They're like, no, no, the tray files. I was like, why, why is, why is their autocorrect so bad? Yeah. If, what files am I sending you? Yes. And they're like, they sent me an email, but like how to get your tray files. I was like, oh my God, it's actually a thing. Yes. Yes. I remember the first time I heard about it, it was this girl who, um, she like would send Sims to people and she yes. was just saying it so nonchalantly. And I'm like, I just played along with it. Like, yeah, totally. Yeah. Tray- and then I googled it like what the what is she talking about what are these tray files and I'm like literally on my desktop right here tray importer I'm so glad I know what it is I don't use it that often but I should but I just these are things as like sim people who are in the community you forget that a lot of the people that casually play don't know about and Mm -hmm. we just talk about these things like oh of course everyone's gonna know what this is no, not everyone's going to know what the no, tree file No, they're not. Honest to God, I just learned you could take your sim shoes off. I had oh, no, yeah. I yeah. didn't know you could do that. And I was, I was talking to Sims Life Logan. She's like, yeah, you can just do that. I'm like, what? Yeah. Without a mod? And There's she's so like, many little things. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm like, huh, I've been doing and this. you can also choose your preferred, preferred utensil. Yes, that I did know. Cause I see that all the time. Cause sometimes I'll accidentally press it instead of yeah. the pose creator. I'm like, no, no. everybody eats with chopsticks. Cause I think that's so funny. I know, especially when they're bad at it at first. Yeah, and they're just like, yeah, I got that. Um, anyways, I got a couple more questions for you and then I'm going to let you go on your merry way. You are a fantastic builder. Um, what are your tips and tricks do you find to have a successful build? Ooh, okay. So <laughs> one of my, I guess, I guess this is a tip. I don't know if you want to call it a tip, but when you're building, when I'm building at least, I look at something and I go, if I think it's done, I go, what more can I do? <laughs> That's what I always ask myself. If let's say it just kind of is looking like nice, mm-hmm. but does it wow me? What more okay. can I do? Can I add some like, extra thing to the outside that what, what's something different? Like I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that I make at least like one or two quote, quote, custom things in each build, like, you know, how you can use the tool mod to like yeah. make something or try to make something that someone has never seen before. And I know that's like, Oh, just make something no one's seen before. It's that easy. <laughs> no, it's not. I spend so much time on like, and pulling my hair out doing stuff that, but don't be afraid to also just do something that looks stupid at first, but then keep going. Like sometimes I'm like, this looks really bad. I'm just going to keep going though, because there's so many times where you just need to embellish it a little bit more. I made this like stained glass window one time through like lights um, and coloring, you know, how you can change the colors of the lights. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I made it so the lights would change and that way the it kind of looked like a stained glass window, but at first it just looked like crap. It just was like, what is this? But I, the more I played around with it, I'm like, okay, yeah. So like, just don't be afraid and don't give up. Don't like a lot of the time. I know you want to 
click that bulldoze button. Just, <laughs> just keep going. I know you want to just, if it's not looking good, sometimes you just need to put a little bit more. You just need to jazz it up. Um, and also I love roofing. I know, um, there's find something that you're good at. Like I, I personally find roofing easy, but I find layouts very difficult. Like some people layouts, no problem. Boop, boop, boop. Here's the bathroom. There's that. I always find, I try not to put the bathroom against the wall. Like I always, always do. Um, but yeah, find the thing that you're good at and try to like accentuate that. Like I'm like, I like doing roofs. So I'm going to make the craziest roof I can think of to make that thing, the thing that stands out. Or if you're like really good at layout, you're really good at landscaping. You're really good at, maybe you're just good at like living rooms. Try to take that and like really expand on that. I don't know. Am I making any sense? You are hundred percent making all the sense. (laughs) (laughs) And then it'll translate to other things. Like the more you do it, the more confident, the more you're like, oh yeah, I did that in this other build. I'm going to do it in this one. You just get better every time. Trust me. My builds, I've been building also for 20 years. So I, if anyone's like, I just got the Sims, I'll never be as good as you. I hate when people say that. I hate it because like you should have seen my builds when I first started. They were big squares. I covered the entire exterior with the most expensive windows because I thought, oh, cool. These windows are expensive. Just keep playing with it. Okay. (laughs) Just keep going. Um, When you build, is it always in your mind or do you go to Pinterest and grab examples and create boards? I would say it's 90% of my head. Um, 10% if let's say I'm doing a collab and it's like a style I'm just so not comfortable with, like like a castle or something I'll look, but I really, it's just not how my brain works. I don't know if it's my dyslexia or what. Um, but I can't translate like the picture. Um, it's just harder for me. It takes me so much longer to try to look at a picture and try to recreate it. It's just, I'm also kind of a perfectionist when it comes to that. So if like something doesn't line up, I get caught up on that detail, but if it's just in my head, I can, I just kind of, go with the flow. I don't really know what I'm building. Most of the time when I start, I just know the style. I'm like, this is going to be mid-century modern. Let's see where it takes me. Um, I don't know. No. Hey, I totally get you. And you, you, you said something that caught me there. Dyslexic. I'm also dyslexic. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. I understand. Exactly. I know yes. that's like when you see something and you're trying to like make it, but your brain's like, I don't no. I can't. Yes. Yes. Wow. It's really something I've been also working with my therapist on of just because as an adult, people think of like dyslexia a lot with like just kids and reading, mm-hmm. but it's much more than that. It's about how you view the, like, I want to say view the world, but view literal things Yes, and how you translate and how you can see my dyslexia, I think has really contributed to me being creative because I really struggled in school. And one thing I didn't struggle in was art and stuff like that. So I, I just like to create things. So I like it. I prefer it to be from my head. It just makes more sense from instead of blueprints. And I, I totally agree with you yes. again. I, it's I, nice to talk to someone that knows. Yes. Like, uh, no, yeah. my, my parents threw me on riddle and hoping for the best. And when I did that, I just became this like mindless hobby. I waited till the day I was 18, stopped taking it. And I was like, I'm an adult and I choose not to take this. And they were like, you're going to never succeed in life. And I'm like, I'm actually now the most successful one out of all you guys. I feel oh, bad that they made you do that. Cause my teacher, um, I would shake my legs when I would read because I would be like, so I do it. Yeah. and they asked me to take Ritalin. My teacher told my parents to put me on Ritalin and they said, no. Yeah. And I feel like, and we're like the same age. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people then just didn't understand the, the way we express ourselves when you're, you're having a hard time. So you're, you're, I don't know, moving in a way that makes it look like, mm-hmm. even though I wasn't like a, bouncing off the walls, but the teacher was like, we, we don't know, put her on Ritalin. They end up getting me a tutor, which I, Anne Root, if you're listening, <laughs> Anne Anne Root, Root, if you're, if you're happy to stumble across the Sims <laughs> podcast, she would come, uh, I'm sorry. I'm taking this completely like, no, take, take uh, this. she would come every Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, during my recess 
Yep. And we would, she would help me with reading and like, I just feel dyslexia is a very, people use it so commonly. Like Mm -hmm. I'm dyslexic because I read that six backwards, but it, I went and got tested. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. (laughs) You, it's hard for people to understand what all the things that go along with it, like the struggles. And anyway, I just hope that kids these days, Mm -hmm. kids these days do have better resources and aren't just put on Ritalin. Cause I I think, I think there is, I think it's, it's a little bit more talked about. Um, cause like mm-hmm. I, cause like I kept it a professional secret for most of my life. I've only recently oh, yeah. started talking about it because uh-huh. like, I just, I, I have what I want to say in in my head, but mm-hmm. it, I cannot write it. I could not <laughs> convey it and mm-hmm. I can't read something and mm-hmm. it's stick. Mm-hmm. I, I can't read a book like to myself someone yes. has to physically read it to me for it I, for me to understand what it is um mm-hmm. and this happens about you're making years. my hair stand up I'm so sorry <laughs> no I know in a good way like it just it's it makes you feel like you're not alone and it's I so know. nice like I my boss because I I used to do a lot of the blogs for my job and mm-hmm. he made me stand up and read it in front of everybody oh, and I was God, shaking no. And he's like, I'm a very charismatic person. I'm not shy for anything. And I'm shaking yeah. reading it. And he's like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't do this. Anytime mm-hmm. I have to publicly speak or anything, it's it's 100% bullshit I made up five minutes prior. Yeah. I, I did nothing. bullet notes if I ever had to do. I cannot just read <laughs> like that. Yeah. I, oh my God. Yeah. I, my mom, I remember called the school and they would pull my name from like the reading cup. Yeah. Which one time they found out, like the kids in class found out and I was so embarrassed that my name wasn't in like the reading cup. Cause I was, I thought I was so stupid. And now I found out that I'm not stupid. Right. I just, that's an area I struggle in. I have strengths and I have weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And you, I think that a lot of dyslexic people really had to overcome a lot of stuff and learn a lot of things to, teach themselves how to just function, mm-hmm. not function, but yeah. And I think it's really helped me just know how to navigate or even my husband's like, he's, he flew through school, no problem. And now sometimes he's like, I don't know how to study. I don't know how to like mm-hmm. do this stuff. And I'm like, I can show you because I had to study. I had, I had to, to like, study. I had to put twice the amount of work in to yeah. get just as far as the, my person next to me. And they don't, yes. they don't realize it. Right. Mm-hmm. No, my fiance is the same way. He's a, he university mm-hmm. has his always all his stuff and never had to study a day in his life. And I'm sitting there and anytime I have to do something, I'm like a week out reading it and yeah. making like pl- plot notes. Your name is easy, which is great. But if, any, yes. if I'm interviewing somebody and I'm like, I don't know how to pronounce this, I literally oh have gosh. to spell it like how mm-hmm. I would read it. Yes. And like, um, and they're like, really? I'm like, yeah. Cause I do a lot of voice work for machinimas, like a oh, ton yeah. of voice work. And so I used to get scripts. I, oh, still no. get scripts. I mean, they're cool, but like, cool. Also, yeah. So I'll sit there and <laughs> well, now I, I I'm getting better. Cause I just kind of memorize the words, but I'll yeah. get, I'll get feedback. Like you missed a word. Cause the oh, problem yeah. is, is I read every third word to mm-hmm. most stuff that that's just how my brain goes. So uh-huh. I'll sit there and I'll be like, that's not it. Or I add my own words in mm-hmm. and they'll be it, like, it's just yeah. how I would speak it. Right. And they're like, uh-huh. um, we'll go with, we'll go with your improv lines. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't realize they were improv. <laughs> <Oops. laughs> they were meant to be improv, I promise. I promise. But if you liked them, go ahead. But no, I, anyways, I, well, I got one more final question for you, but I want to say thank you for talking to me, talking about this. I want to end the stigma behind this as much as I can with anybody. It was actually yeah. another simmer I was talking to, um, and he's dyslexic. And we sat in th- for 40 minutes and we just kind of talked about like, what's it like? I, we're not dumb. We're very intelligent in our fields. Yeah. It's just people just, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you mm-hmm. can't. How can you not read? Because I was saying like the last time I was measured, I have a, about a six, a grade six reading level. Um, yeah. And that I can't go any farther than that. I'm and terrified to check mine. I, when I was Oh my God. When everyone was reading chapter books, yeah, I would, I would have to go to the library and I would get Clifford books and I would hide them under my shirt because I was too embarrassed. And then when I finally was like, I'll get a chapter book, I 
thought I read it through and through. And then you had to take those little tests after to see what you, I couldn't answer any of the questions. I could not take in anything. And I was so embarrassed and sad. And I was like, I want to read a chapter book. Like I've read a couple books. I'm even writing a book because I love creating, Mm -hmm. but it's taken me a long time. I actually was editing it last night. It's just, it's a passion of mine, like to create a story. It's just something I can't, I wanted to go into script writing originally. That that was my, what I was going to go to school for. Cause I like bringing things to life, mm-hmm. but it's like the actual writing part of it. The reading the that, that is just so, I was really, really lucky in elementary where they let me go into this back room and read out loud to myself um, during like a reading time. But then all the kids in class were like, why does she get to go back there? Why yeah. does she? Cause I can't. I literally can't read this if I'm, I can't read my Clifford books. <laughs> no, I got you. I, that's why I got, I really got into comic books and graphic the novels. Pictures, the, the pictures it, understand. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I specifically, the two. well, I, when I wrote Rose Chronicles, like the first drafts, like I, they are mm-hmm. chicken scratch really bad, but I decided to turn it into a graphic novel. I mean, I would that's love to idea. actually make it a graphic novel. I'm just using you the should. Sims. I, I need an animator, man. I can't do it all, <laughs> but that's my goal one day is to hope to actually get it like super published, but I want to get the first book done. It's yeah. my passion project. And my fiance this week, he's like, cause I was saying, I was like, I got my first client, my work's ramping up. Yeah. I don't know. And he's like, you know what? Like you've done this, like, you, mm-hmm. you know, you've worked really hard with the first Chronicles. You're doing two chapters a week. Like maybe this is the time to take a break. And I was like, no, that's the worst thing I could do. Because that's I how I, you keep, keep the momentum. I gotta keep it going. And that's how I keep my mental health sane. And that yeah. that's how I do it. Because again, even me reading this, story, I know what happens. Mm-hmm. I still read every third word. I have to sometimes look at the photos because I don't know what I wrote. It's really sad. Yeah. It's like, it's like you want to enjoy your craft, but you can't. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Anyway. thank you for sharing. Yeah, I no, I thank, you, thank you for sharing. talking about that. Like it's feels really good actually. Right. It's like, it's, it's no longer a secret. And, and that's, again, yeah. this is something that I wanted. This is an area, a safe space I created for mm-hmm. everybody who can talk about their walks of life because the beauty of the Sims is it's a game, but everyone I've talked to is around the world and lives completely different lives. I've never met the same person that does the same thing twice, mm-hmm. but we can all sit and talk about our experience playing this game that mm-hmm. we love. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I have one final question and I'm going to let you go because not that I don't want to make this a three hour podcast. I know, I know, I know. I know wrapping up is going to be a 40 minute process. I know. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I see you love to build. You also love lookbooks in your personal opinion what is your favorite making a lookbook through and through or doing a build? Oh my gosh. So that's kind of like a, you can, there's, there's, because there's because no wrong answer. There's yeah. some builds that I built that I absolutely love. And there's some lookbooks that I love. And then there are some builds that I'm like, I'm not proud of that. Some lookbooks I'm like, not proud of that. But ultimately builds do take me longer. So I would say I, I am more proud of myself when it comes to builds, but I get really attached to some Sims. Yeah. I know that's not really an answer, like saying one over the (laughs) other, but I have, I have a whole bunch of, um, lookbooks planned for, um, my next season, which I call it season. Um, it's, everything's my next season's based around cocktails, all the cocktails in the Sims. Well, not all of them, but I picked like a good yeah, handful. Yeah. And so each cocktail is going to have its own dollhouse and Sim that are dressed the same color as the cocktail and the vibe of the cocktail. Um, you're going to see her first, but I'm obsessed with Jane Plasma. Oh, she is this saucy vampire who drinks plasma Janes, obviously. Obviously. Um, so it's like, there are some Sims that I just, I keep around, even if I bring them in my personal game. I'm like, I just absolutely love the Sim. And then I'll put tons of CC on them. Cause I don't, I don't use CC in my lookbooks cause everything I post is on the gallery. Mm-hmm. Um, so ultimately I would say builds are probably, they definitely take a priority. I'll say yes. That. <laughs> I, I totally get you. My entire Sims 
career until like two years ago. I was like, I'm a builder. I build, I say these. Yeah. Um, and then I realized I don't have like 40 hours of my life dedicated to no. one build. I just can't mm-hmm. do it. Um, and that, no. I, like, I mean, honestly, I'm not that great of a builder. I just, just kind of like, I'm there. Right. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not you or Juby or the weekend builder, or Artie, especially Artie who like Artie does like the most creative out of the box builds I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, I'm going to do cast. And I switched to cast because cast is like a lot of fun. Also it takes like two hours. Yeah. Beautiful sim. That's, that's start what to I finish, love about it. Right. You can go in. I'll be like, you know what? I'm kind of in the mood to just make a little sim right now. And yes, I can do, I can make a whole family in like just one sitting Mm -hmm. for like an hour, two hours. And it's, I can't build a house in that time. I can maybe do a micro home, maybe, but like it's my micro homes still take like three to four hours. Like, Oh my, I, I totally agree. Um, so the last crazy, like I was going to pull my hair out, uh, thing I do. So Luna Wendy does the Disney Mm -hmm. challenge with a lot with the Disney sims and I Mm -hmm. do Luna's builds. Oh, it's actually the first, it was actually the first ever collab I ever did with her. Like we both started the same day of um, Sims. Like we have the same Instagram birthday Aww. and I messaged her like a month and I'm like, can we collab? And she's like, yeah. And she's like, well, what, like, can I build your stuff? So I did, I've built everything. And then she stopped because she like her, she lost her files. So she oh. repicked it back up. So yes. now I'm back to doing everything again. Mm-hmm. And she had me build Tiana's palace. For under oh. thirty, for under thirty six k. Oh, and, what? And for it had thirty six k, and it had to be on a twenty by fifteen lot. Okay, so did you use a lot of debug? Like, yeah, it was things <laughs> debug. <laughs> wall, debug wall. <laughs> I literally, I I messaged her. I'm like, hey, um. There's only 10 working chairs here. I, yeah. I literally like I everything is like held up with a hope, wish, and a promise. Like I, I yeah. built a stage, I had curtains, I had tables, I, I had the stairs, I had it all decorated outside. I'm like, yeah. yeah, um just just know uh that this is literally held up with tape. I yeah. like don't go on the stage. I don't know if your sim actually can. It's all debugged. Oh my God. That's so like, I love to build, um, starter homes. Yes. And I try to make them look as nice as possible. And like, I just feel like half the time they're just all debug. Like, yes. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm like, but don't look too hard. Yeah. Or it's, it's not, it's not usable. Like it's, yeah. just, it's just there. No, I, I totally, I totally agree with you. Like, um, what I'm excited for, I mean, I could talk about that because it's coming out in July. Um, I'm doing the Sleeping Beauty Cottage, which is I, I'm Ooh. Sleeping Beauty Girl through and through. I'm also using the same build in Juby's Fairy Challenge that's coming oh, out around cool. the same oh, time. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah, it, it literally works like, out. I, yeah. I love cross using. That's, oh, that's fuck my yeah. favorite cross. That saves so much time. <laughs> it does. I'll be like, oh, wait, I can, you know, a lot of my um, dollhouses come from rooms in builds and I'll just kind of jazz them up a little bit more so they look mm-hmm. good and I'll be like there's a whole boast right there oh my god I literally do that all the time I'm like ah it's perfect I'll just I need up. something to post today what do we got <laughs> I save rooms I'm like ah I can just that's good that. enough that's close <laughs> good let's enough. put a nice background <laughs> no, <on> Instagram <laughs> oh my god those always get the most likes too and the ones that I spend like 36 hours building people are like I mean okay not 36 hours but still the ones yeah. that I spend so much time like people are gonna love this no no, no they're, they're gonna like the thing that took me five minutes yes I God, what is that I totally agree with you I'll sit there because like Valentine's Day I had I made five rooms in the house dedicated for Valentine's got no got no like repost of something I did like a throwaway post is what I like to call yeah yeah thousand likes and I'm like what the yeah. <laughs> I, so now I just sit there and I'm like, ah, whatever. You guys get what you get. Um, yeah. you're I think, probably gonna like it. I don't know. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. Maybe you do. I don't. I don't matter. Does it, mm-hmm. does it matter? Um. Anyways, it has been an absolute pleasure. Why don't you tell everybody what you're working on? So I'm working on my season two cocktails. I can't wait to show you all of it. It's um gonna be. I want to also put a little bit of uh, reels in there that kind of give, not tutorials, that's not the right word, but a little bit of fun facts about 
the cocktails that I'm using. One example is Beetlejuice. Did you know you can make Beetlejuice? What? No. Yes. And if you drink it three times, your sim will die. Just well, like would, in the I, movie. Yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. So I made a sim that um, is kind of like reminds you of Beetlejuice. I made like a little park that kind of is like yeah. Beetlejuice. And then I want to make a reel that, hey, fun facts about Beetlejuice. And I'm just really excited because I want my account to have these seasons or just what I'm calling it. And then you go to my account and that's what you, you have it your own thing. Like you can see what I'm working on. Um, I even kind of have an idea of what I want to do for my next season. Oh, cool. Well, uh, so each season will have like a different theme and each theme I want all my posts to be dedicated to that just because I have a hard time with keeping up with collabs and I have a hard time being into the ideas sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I can't really be forced to build. Like it just doesn't work. I yeah. I'm just really excited to do my own thing. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I I know that sounds obvious, but uh, that's what I want this to be. Like I didn't end up being a scriptwriter, but I can put this as my creative outlet. I want to make my Sims account as like my little storytelling platform. I want people to be able to go there and be like, yeah, what's she working on? I know no one's going to be like, what is she working on? I can't wait to see. But it would be nice for people to be like, wow, that's different. That's unique. That's I haven't seen that before. That's what I want. I want people to be like, hmm, that's something I haven't seen before. And I hope it encourages other people to maybe do something that they've been nervous about trying mm-hmm. because so many people, I know I'm guilty of it. Look at some successful account and be like, I got to do exactly what they're doing. No, you don't have to. Like, if this isn't a successful thing, like if people are like, this is dumb, who likes these season ideas? I don't care. I'm going to do the next one too. Like I, I'm enjoying these breaks that I'm taking in between one month break, a couple months posting one month break. Mm -hmm. It has been so good for my mental health. I can't Mm -hmm. post every day. So, um, and once the season starts, I will be posting every day again, but it just, I'm excited to just show people what I'm working on. And I'm excited to also comment on other people's stuff and see what they're working on. Cause I've been kind of like taking a step back and just being a part of the community again. Hey, I am excited to see everything you're working on. That's awesome. I'm really happy our paths crossed because oh. how, how it happened was somebody I had followed mm-hmm. had wished you welcome back. And oh, I, was, yeah. I was like, Oh my God, it's cool. And I was like, Holy shit. Like, Holy fuck. Okay. And I was like, oh, she's cool stuff. And then I just like probably continued on picking my nose with the rest of the day. And then you followed me. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I was like, I was like, it's her. It's the dog. Like, I'm sorry. I'm like, that's how I associate. I also changed my profile picture like that day to like. Yes. So I'm like, well, people remember who I am. I, I kept thinking, should I change my profile picture? I honestly was like, people aren't going to remember who I am. Like, that's what I was like, I've been gone for seven months. People aren't going to remember. I think you took a break. I started, I didn't see, I didn't see anything yeah. about you. And then I was like, oh my God, this is mm-hmm. just so cool. I was like, you know what? I'm going to ask her to be, see if she wants to interview. I, I, I was she, so she can say, I was like, she can say yes, she can say no. Is it to her? It doesn't <laughs> hurt to ask. That's what I always exactly. say. You are any worse off than you were before you asked. So, right. Just like me applying for that. <laughs> I mean, for the EA thing. Um, we'll see if I can get an email back. I, but. I, I applied to you. Juby applied. I mean, you have a better mm-hmm. chance out of me and Juby because, like, <sighs> you have more followers than us. You have more followers with combined, to be honest. I keep thinking. I don't know what they're looking for though. I don't know. They, they, I'm, I'm an American. So maybe they aren't really looking for Americans right now because maybe they want more diversity, mm-hmm. which also, if I'm not picked for that reason, good for them. Yes. That's a step in the right direction. I totally agree. <laughs> like, I, I just assume that maybe they're looking for some Canadians because me and Juby are both Canadian. Yeah. And I, I, would be so, I think there's like five, the biggest Canadian simmer I know, I think it's like, Dr. Iron something. Mm-hmm. He's Canadian. But other than like he has like 30,000 followers. I mean, I'm not going to shake a tree that like 30,000 followers is not a lot. It's a lot of followers. Yeah. But yeah. um compared to other simmers out there, it's not like 
a lot, a lot. Yeah. What I'm, I mean, if they choose me, great. I mean, if they listen to anything I ever talk about, I bash EA and how money hungry they are. So we'll see if they pick me, I'm going to be like, well, they didn't listen. <laughs> anything. I'm ever. curious from how they pick. I know. I'm sorry. I keep talking, but I'm just no, no. what their yeah. process is. Like, what are they doing? What do they look for? What are they? Is it just a group of people like checking all the accounts and being like, this is a good fit or maybe I, I assume so. I don't know. I just, I'm like, maybe I have something to stand on because I do this. Exactly. This exactly. is completely different. I, the categories were all, I put a couple categories cause I, I did. I did too. Yeah. Yeah. I wondered, I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, did I put too many categories and I don't, do I need to prove myself? Like I've written some blogs for them. Like I'm so I'll put blogger, but I'm like, I'm not really a blog whatever yeah I, I did the same thing I was like you they, need me to they're start writing a blog do I need <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like you know what if I get it cool if I don't get it I'm I'm literally gonna keep doing exactly yeah. what I am yeah, that's not gonna it's just, just like be like oh I guess I'm done with my 20 years of playing sims <laughs> I'm done I'm gonna, gonna throw my computer away gonna hang yeah. that up anyways mm-hmm. I want to say it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming here today. It's been a pleasure. I'm happy our past cross and our capacity will continue to cross. They will. Um, why don't you tell everybody, I'm sure everyone knows where to find you, but for the new listeners out here who maybe don't know uh, where to find your work, where can we find everything? Well, you can find me on Instagram at koki.creative and on Twitter and on YouTube. And I'm trying to think of anything else. Those are the main ones. Yes. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Um, her links are going to be below. It's been, uh, please go follow her. She's absolutely amazing. Uh, do you know when season two is going to drop of all your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, your date is flexible. I like that. I like a loose date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right now it's kind of like mid-may oh i mean yeah. this, is, this is coming out till july you got lots of runway exactly yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm doing some i'm calling them trailers some prequel uh, i'm posting today just a couple warm-up posts and i'm gonna do a teaser like Ooh, what's my next season about guesses and then the official launch mid-may so it's it yeah i love it mm-hmm. i love it well Elena, it was an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for coming here today. Uh, as this is, like I said, this is the season finale for episode one. I Yay! I can't believe at a season. I thought I'd interview like three people and they'd be like, who are you? Go away. Trust me, I'm sure <laughs> everyone that you ask would be like, heck yeah. Yeah, well, a lot of people first thought I was an affiliate of EA. They, that because that's because I had You're so professional. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, don't listen to the ones then where I talk about sex and farts because because <laughs> I'm really not professional. Does she work for EA? Yeah. Does she work for EA? <laughs> she she talks to email EA right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> people like people truly think that like, I'm part of EA and this. I'm like, no, no, this is this is oh, this is. God. This is me. This is just me yeah. doing my own it's a thing. Passion. <laughs> it's yeah, you know, I just love talking about myself and I clearly love the sound of my own voice. That's why I have hour and a half podcasts. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh so uh season two will come back uh in September. So uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to everybody. And I want to thank my Australian listeners again. You guys are awesome. Yeah, so I'm like number fifth in Australia for best leisure podcast. Seriously? Seriously. Hey, Australia, what's up? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> like when I found that out, I was like, what? Australia. Australia. Cool. I don't know anybody in Australia. So it's clearly no. people who I love my, again, I love you guys. Um, I also love my Canadian followers, which is my mom. <laughs> she Aww. listens to this on her feet so all day. Sweet. I know she's like, I want you to be famous. <laughs> I'm like, I want to be famous too, mom. It works out. We both have the same goal. Uh, anyways, um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Please go follow her. Um, please go listen to the rest of the uh, summer spotlights that I have. And I can't wait to come back for season two. Well, thank you. You are very welcome. Have a great rest of your day, okay? You too.